The disability movement saved my life. In my hour of despair, a little more than an hour, the disability movement taught me that my problem had two parts. One part was my illness and the things that that stopped me doing. The other part was people's attitudes and the way that society is set up. The disability movement taught me that only one of these is something I have to deal with by myself. Before then, whenever I met poor access or prejudice, I thought it was because I was broken. Whenever I read something in a newspaper condemning people like me or reducing people like me to a set of negative experiences, I thought it was because I was broken. I thought I owed the world an explanation about why I couldn't do certain things and how I really wanted to and how I really, really couldn't help it. Honest. I thought I had to constantly explain about being broken. I'm not broken. I'm just not very well. In recent years, the UK disability movement has been on the defensive. Being denied the financial and practical means to live a full and meaningful life, people have been scared. Some have been scared to death. There's nothing wrong about talking about suffering or talking about poverty. There's nothing wrong with talking about the things that we've lost and the things that we're going to lose. There's nothing wrong with people who are in fear of their lives expressing that fear. Sometimes we owe it to ourselves to be honest with the world about what we're going through. But essential benefits and services are not a matter of compassion. We don't need to persuade anyone that we're all good people who are suffering dreadfully and are therefore deserving of charity. We don't need to express gratitude that we are allowed to exist. We don't need to constantly refer to ourselves as genuinely, 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 genuinely disabled, as if there was any other kind. These things only play into the hands of people who think that there are deserving and undeserving disabled people, and that no matter what happens, the most needy will be looked after. Cuts to essential benefits and services are a matter of social justice. Whoever we are, what kind of impairments we have, whether we are good patients, whether we are or ever were hard workers or taxpayers, whether or not we are suffering, or whether we get a lot of pleasure out of life, or both, we are entitled to respect and dignity and the means to survive. Disability pride is not about saying, Hooray! I'm disabled! It's not about saying that I don't suffer or I wouldn't change these things about my life. Disability pride is about saying, we're often up against it, but I am proud of who I am. I am proud of my friends. I am proud of the disability community, which like any family has a few eccentric aunts and that half brother that we must never ever speak about. Disability pride is about saying, I will not apologise. I will not apologise for having these limitations. I won't apologise for medical events that happen to me. I won't apologise if my presence embarrasses you. I won't apologise if you don't understand my situation. I don't need you to. I don't understand yours either, but you have my respect. Disabled people never got anywhere by begging. Disabled people change the world in which we live by recognising our inherent value. This is why, collectively, we must never despair however bleak things get. Because having equal or equivalent opportunities, having the dignity of being clean and fed and sheltered even if we need help from others, being treated with respect rather than abuse or condescension, these things are not a prize that we won in a draw. That social justice is what everyone has a right to. And it's what we have a right to, too which isn't always easy to recognise. That's why, when we do, we should be proud.